Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Okay, so a couple of things from John Crump. He wants me to show the Black Swan Tactical, um, Tony, Tony Simon. Simon. Let's see, that's right here. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. 2A for everybody. You know. So there you go. That's. I think that's out. That must be out. Well, it's on Black Swan Tactical if anyone's looking for it. I'm guessing it's out. That's why those guys. And then if we go back, so, so there's a thing here from John, which this is uh, 2A Gun News. Let me see if I can find this. John was uh, talking to me about this. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put this up here. John said, SAF just released a hit piece on GOA because GOA called out the Republican that killed constitutional ca carry here in Florida. So I don't know if you're aware of this, Walt, since you're traveling back and forward and everything. But um, th there was a push for constitutional carry here in right, Florida, right. but it was pretty much just um, ignored by Republicans. Um, and then our friend uh, Luis Valdez has been, you know, uh, pushing for that. And then just, just like the long and short of the whole story here, unless John wants to come on and explain this in more detail, is that the Republicans who could have put this forward decided not to put it forward because they're saying they they weren't that you know that they wouldn't actually be able to push it through or whatever but Luis Valdez is calling those guys out right and because he's calling those guys out there's some um there's some uh places that pretend to be uh pro second amendment here in Florida and other places that they actually coddle these rhino uh republicans that we have here in Florida and they make excuses for them not um, standing up for the Second Amendment here in Florida, so they they counter they counterpunch and attack GOA and other folks like myself, Luis Valdez, uh, for trying to hold these guys accountable. So that's kind of like the long and short here's of the story yeah. that's going on there. Uh, look, 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 everybody! Politicians constantly put bills out there they aren't going to get any make get anywhere, just mm -hmm. so they get their name in the in the record. And things like that, you know, because that stuff all goes down into the the records forever. You know, as you introduce the bill, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's a sad that's a sad excuse. Um, mm -hmm. The only way you get things going is you put stuff out, and then you put it back again, and you put it back again, and you put it back again until you figure mm -hmm. out how to get it done. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and I think Lewis is doing the right thing, and I think GOA is doing the the right thing um, by trying yeah. to. Put pressure on these guys um a lot of these guys have um connections to marion hammer you know a oh, lot of them the were taking lady. yeah a lot of them are taking money from the nra um, yeah. a lot of them are just paying uh just protecting these rhinos republicans here in florida they can pretty much do whatever they want they put gun control in florida and then they're saying they can't do anything that's pro um pro second amendment so a lot of this stuff is unfolding and once I get a chance to, to yeah, Brownells. What are you saying about Brownells? Yeah, I just got a package from Brownells today. Some uh, oh, okay, different colors of baking lacquer and oh, okay. stuff. Okay, yeah. very cool. Yeah. They had it on sale for a really good price. I think they're just continuing it actually. So. Yeah. So you know, my my thing is, I think that we need to hold these Republicans here responsible. And the idea of them trying to say that they couldn't put forward constitutional carry in Florida is bull. No, no one's yeah, buying that here. No one's correct. buying that here. They could do that. It's just like it's, well, it's just like when they try to say that it wasn't their fault that we have gun control in Florida. It's absolutely your fault. Yeah, they let it. They let it go. They could have stopped it, but they didn't. Yeah, yeah. So, so now, um, yeah. I think when you look at uh, when you when you're looking at all these uh, places. So if if Second Amendment Foundation put out a hit piece, well. Hey, that tells you where they are, you know. Um, I know it's the same thing with the Florida carry guys. The Florida carry guys are not necessarily um, all about uh, the Second Amendment in Florida, believe it or not. So there's a lot of people who support them, but I could just tell you that they're not. And a lot of this comes... I think they were the first people to, um, to actually try um, to get at Lewis over this, so... 
And I train posted about um, them being worried about their trillion dollar tourist industry. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna affect anybody. No, <laughs> Joe, 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 uh, Joe Sixpack from New York to come down here to go to the beach with his family. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. He don't care whether it, what constitutional carry. So I mean, it, uh, I don't know. I. I I don't like those kind of... It's, it's, that's not a good excuse. You know what the thing is, Walt? I think that a lot of these so-called um, Second Amendment organizations that are out there, and we're talking about what's happening here in Florida right now, a lot of them, they have been able to get away with this stuff for a long time because there wasn't the internet. People weren't paying as close attention <laughs> yeah, to yeah. what's going on. Well, so nobody, they could just nobody give was, people both. Nobody was calling them out. That's that's the thing. Nobody... Yeah. nobody um, yeah, they've been now, getting now, they've been getting away with that for a long time, but yeah, I and, think those and, days and, are over. People could see what the hell is going on. The idea that these guys c don't control what's happening um, in the legislature in in Florida is bull. In Tallahassee, they can get rid of all this gun control nonsense we have here, and they could they could put up a good wall to protect the Second Amendment if they, you know, if they really um, wanted to. So. Uh, hold on, we've got Wayne LaPierre joining us. Hold on. There he goes. Is that Wayne LaPierre? Uh, maybe that's what his uh, looked like a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Not for a second. We don't believe it for a second. We don't believe it for a second. All right, this is Wayne. How are you doing? Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you got to center your camera a little bit here. There you go. I have no idea what's going on with my camera. It's like moving all around. Hold on. Hey, we should, we should, we should, we should contract the Chicoms to make some Wayne LaPierre Halloween mask. Right. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sure John uh, has one somewhere. I, I'm sure I can get one made. Uh, I just got to yeah. call uh, Toxic Patchco. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I'm not going to touch too much on, uh, like, response to uh, so-called pro-gun organizations calling GOA out, but I will say what happened with Lewis. All right. So Lewis uh, talked to this uh, Florida uh, delegate who was a committee board chair who promised GOA that he will bring up constitutional carry. Is this Bird? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, well, bring it up halfway through the session. Okay. Uh, and then halfway through the session, we're like, when are you bringing it up? He's like, oh, I'm going to bring it up a little bit later. Then uh, he didn't. And so Louis, uh, or Luis, whatever you want to call him, because he goes by both, mm -hmm. uh, went up to him and was like, hey, are you bringing it up? He goes, no, I'm not going to bring it up because there's no companion bill in the House, so it's not I mean, in the Senate, so it's not going to pass. There doesn't need to be a companion bill for them to vote on it and to actually bring it up. They can send their bill over. It doesn't have to be a companion bill. Um, mm -hmm. Some people have issues with it because they see this as, a, a, as attacking a Republican, and they don't want to attack Republicans. But, you know, we want to we want to hold everyone accountable no matter yeah. what party so what right. so we should just sit back here in florida you know and wait for them to do something for us if they feel like it <laughs> yeah well here, here's the thing uh in the florida legislature the republicans have a super majority of course Sorry. they do so they can do whatever and, they want ex uh, i think yeah. we were just and, saying and, that <laughs> and, and, and the governor is a republican who is willing to sign constitutional care right so there's no excuse for them not to bring up constitutional no. carry unless yeah. they're uh, unless they are playing a political game. It's disappointing. Oh. It's disappointing to see these organizations. Like so, typically, if folks don't know this, typically, amongst the two A organizations that are out there that are that are fighting for the Second Amendment or saying that they're fighting for the Second Amendment and getting money and support from from those of us on the outside, uh, you know who aren't there lobbying and doing all the different things that they're doing you know I, I think the idea that that we should just sit back and wait for them to magically do something is crazy and typically what happens is that they they a lot of this infighting we don't see it so the the, the funny thing and it exists right 
because well, G- GOA is. Or I ought to be very clear. Uh, mm-hmm. GOA is going to respond to the claims made, but we're not going to do it in a way to attack right. other. But this, but this is what. But we're, this is we're going to lay our case out and say this okay. is the reason why we did this, and right. you know. And this is what they think, and let the people decide what right. they think. Right, but usually, usually here, we don't see any of this kind of stuff going on. So it's a very no. unusual step for organizations to start attacking other organizations. Bec- and w- what everyone has to bear in mind here is they're attacking um, an organization because they're tr- because they're holding Republicans accountable. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's, it's an incredibly <laughs> unusual move. And yeah, talking talking just as conjecture as John Crump and not John Crump Jewelry or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's almost like someone called in a favor. Oh, yeah, maybe that, that like, maybe that politician didn't like that pressure, and went to the other organizations that just bow down and bend over, <laughs> and said, "Hey." Yeah. You got you got to do something for us. Hit back out at these guys. That's why I'm saying like I, I think for a lot of folks in the gun world, a lot of times we talk about stuff before it becomes a big thing and people realize like it's happening. But what's happening here is a lot of these organizations that you're going to see going after these guys are actually, you know, just collecting money for no reason. They're not actually fighting for anything. What what do you think about that, Walt? Uh, John just went out, but I'm sure we'll get him back here in a sec. Yeah, well, I, you know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, why, why, what, what? Mm-hmm. I, th- I thought, I, I get, I guess, you know, I, I've always said there's a between these different gun organizations. Did you boot me? No, I didn't boot you. Just center yourself in the camera if you can. Your signals, your signals better though. Yeah, your signal's better for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, my signal is very strong. I have no idea. I think it might have been something with the software. Okay. What else? Yeah. Okay. I, I think my... there's a lot of uh, I will say, what was the word competition between the two Second Amendment uh, groups, um, and you know, for to be in the limelight and slash to collect money. So, but competition, well, yeah. competition well, is good. Competition is good. I don't mind competition. I want competition. Yeah, well, I don't want just like the NRA too. or one organization well, fighting. There's nothing me. wrong with competition, but mm-hmm. there it does get it does get wrong when the other ones are trying to cut each other's throat. When mm-hmm. you're all kind of working for the same thing, you you got to be like a Democrat, where you all you all act like you love each other, and you until you get what you want done, and then you can go back to fighting amongst each other. But get, yeah, get but, the, yeah. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. This should have. I, 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 I think it should have all been kept behind the scenes. Right. Uh, I think somebody should have reached out to GLA yeah. instead of putting out press releases, but. Well, it, yeah. the very obvious thing here is that the politicians are more important than the people. The politicians are more important than the Constitution, right? When you well, see stuff, guarantee you, you when, would never put a politician ahead of anyone. But, but whoever you see that's out there, th- this is a this is a very simple thing. Like I understand where you're coming from, John. I understand that. What I'm trying to say, from my point of view, is very simple. If the the crime that was committed by Lewis is saying, hey, this Republican said he was going to bring this up. He didn't bring it up. Let's hold him accountable. If that's the crime, and and the other Second Amendment organizations out there who want to jump on the bandwagon of going after him and, uh, you know, ipso facto, GOA for that, what they're trying to tell us is that politician is more important to them. In, and, and specifically here in Florida, that politician is more important to them than the Constitution, the Second Amendment, and everything else. And they're willing to like attack other organizations that are out there fighting and holding people accountable before they say, hey guys, why did you guys do this? What's up with this? You know, Because these politicians need to be uh, held accountable, man. In, you can, no one can argue with me. I'm sitting in the state of Florida. No one can argue with me that Republicans in Florida put gun control into effect. Is that? Am I making that up? No, no, they absolutely did. It wouldn't be okay. When did they? Do, when did they do that? Uh, they've been doing that for a while now. That that gun control went in. What was it, Walt? Like three years ago? Yeah, it was <laughs> before, oh, which one are you talking about? Yeah, the before, it's, uh, uh, the, the Parkland. 
Yeah, the Parkland stuff. How long ago was that? The the that was more than three years ago. Yeah. Okay. So what the hell have they been doing since then? <laughs> Nothing. Just tell me what they've been doing since then. There's no reason to defend any of them. None of them. I don't give. I don't care who that well, politician I mean, is. There's no reason to defend them. What have they done? What have a, they done to reverse that? One thing I took offense to is when they uh, openly called for Lewis to make a very public, in their words, a very public apology to <laughs> the Republicans. Yeah. For the truth. <laughs> It's for calling crazy. them out, yeah, that's crazy I thought talk. Was loose. I, I thought said you the poll. Yeah, do that. I mean, I'm just like, you. Um, yeah, that's not going. Yeah, that's have not you, going, that's I think not, you've met Lewis. I think, Lu yeah, Lewis is not going for that. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, not, like, it's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah he, Lewis has full has the full support of everyone at you. Like, um, maybe, all maybe of us. He can do it, maybe thing. he can do it. Maybe he can do it in Mandarin. Like that wrestler yeah. guy did. Right? Those the Republicans in Florida, the Republicans in Florida should be apologizing to the people of Florida for the gun control that they've put into effect and their refusal to reverse those things or do anything to shore up the Second Amendment in Florida. They should be apologizing. Yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.